What's your first memory of me? Oh, that's a good one. So it was actually the day mom brought you home. And uh, I remember like she, she came in with you and then uh, the room was all set up and they had the crib and everything. And I remember looking at you in the crib and I was like, whoa, that's real. Like, <laughs> like it was the first time I was like, I'm a brother. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And then I just kind of like poke you a few times. <laughs> That, to look that, you, that I remember. I remember. You remember me yeah, poking? That, that, that was my first memory. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> when were you most jealous of me? Maybe because I don't, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not a jealous person. But be honest. I'm telling you, this you're ladies, man. <laughs> Back in <laughs> high school, like junior high school, you know, the hormones were raging. I was in junior high school. I was like, yo, man, where are all the girls? And then. I saw you, you had mad girl, and I was like, damn. That was like the only <laughs> really? time. Really? Hey, man. Well, Interesting. I, I like women, man. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I never would have thought that, though. Yeah, but that's like, I'm not a jealous person. So that was like the only time I could say maybe that mm. it entered my mind, but. Interesting. It was more for the women. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. When did I hurt you most? What was that moment? Ooh. You remember <laughs> that day where you were like, you thought I was checking out. Oh, man. And I was like, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Like, really? Like, really, though? I was so annoyed with you. I was like, how dare you think I was even, like, thinking about that? I was like, you should trust me more than that. Like, you know, if anything, I'm the one person that's going to be the one to make sure that nothing happens. Yeah. And if I looked at her, I was more looking to see, like, how y'all look together. Because the first time I see this chick, so I'm still getting, like... I don't know what she looked like or yeah. like her, her mannerisms, her body language. So I'm watching her like a hawk. Mm. And me watching, you think I'm checking her out. I'm like, nigga. <laughs> it ain't that, it ain't, wasn't that kind of party. But uh, like that lasted, what, 20 minutes? Yeah, 20 minutes. Then we moved on from it. Yeah. yeah. So that was pretty much it, I think. Okay. Yeah. What's the most painful memory you have from our parents' divorce? Hmm. I, I don't know how it came up, honestly, but then mom kind of just said, oh, you know, you and your father and I are no longer married. And I think when that hit, I was like, ah. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, it was like everything kind of like imploded right mm. there. And I was like, what the fuck? And then at the same time, I was like, it was a weird thing because I remember I told you that, like, you know, you can't miss what you never had. Yeah. And I think that was when I learned that. They were divorced, and here I am crying, and, you know, I'm upset and I'm yeah. sad and everything. But then I'm like, motherfucker was never there in the first place. <laughs> so what am I crying about? Like, I'm yeah. crying over spilt milk that never spilled. Mm, so, how do you think our parents' divorce affected us? It affected us, I feel, that, uh, we, we were searching for a father figure, I feel, mm. you know, because living with a, a mom, you know, mother's love is awesome, but you also want to, you know, learn the ropes of yeah. how it is to be a man. Yeah. And I feel like we, we definitely have a couple of uh, father figures in our lives, like our uncles, our cousins. Mm. But uh, when I have kids, I know I want to be there 110%. Mm. I want to settle down with a good woman, you know, with a good head on her shoulders. A good what? A good woman. <laughs> You know? See, just, you just gotta walk up to a chick and be like, hey, you look like a good woman. <laughs> <laughs> and you're in, like, that's all. Oof. When you think of mom and dad getting old, what worries you? What worries me personally is, you know, if they live life to the fullest. You know? What do you mean by that? If they enjoy life. You know, because at the end of the day, I know there's people that they live, but do they actually live? Do they actually enjoy what they're doing? You know? Do you really think dad's enjoying life right now? Right now, no. no. So but maybe, maybe in his earlier years, when he was healthy. Right, but like it, that's because you know it said when they them getting older. Yeah. Like that's pretty much happening now for dad, you know, and the fact that it was funny. I was I had a conversation with, uh, and he was saying like, have you guys thought of like, you know, taking out his feeding tube? Because I was like, you know, that's not a quality of life. Yeah. So I don't know. Have you ever thought about that? Taking out the two from... Yeah, like letting him... Because he doesn't eat on his own. He doesn't walk. He stays walk. in bed. Like, he's, he's just shrinking, actually. I mean, yeah. I thought about it. I know. I mean, he can't really make up that decision for himself, so I feel like the people that are the closest to him should make that decision. But don't you feel like you may, like, in some way have a say? 
he is your dad. Yeah. And I mean, even though he wasn't, you know, yeah. a father figure, he is your dad. He's a father, he's a mom. Right. Here today. <laughs> right. It's like, I don't know, would you ever have like a conversation with Dora about that? Uh, yeah, if it ever warranted. Personally, I feel like, I feel like they should, you know, as, as not should to, what? Not, they should, you know, put, put him out of his misery, not to sound cruel or anything, but yeah. that way of living, you know, you're old, you're Alzheimer's, you can't walk, can't really eat. It's like you're sitting in a nursing, nursing home, so it's not really living, you know. And I feel like at the end of the day, he, he lived a long life, so. Yeah. But, yeah. What do you wish you could heal in me, and what pain would you take away? Well, you know, the whole Brooklyn thing. I feel like uh, if anything I can heal from that is, is more just to be open and to trust more. You know, because some, some uh, situation like that, you know, I put myself in your shoes like, that's a crazy situation, you know. And I feel like, you know, in life we're all going to learn, we're all going to make mistakes and learn from it, I feel. And that's how we grow. So... What I would say is just, you know, that aspect, you know, being more open to, to love, you know what I mean? Mm. And just, you know, don't really see the bad in things. See the, the positives. Because, you know, at the end of the day, we woke up today. Some people can't say that. Some people can't, can't walk. Some people can't see. Some people can't talk. And we're blessed with that. So with that mm. in mind, you know, just appreciate, appreciate what you have and, and just be open to it. That's what, that's what I would say.